ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. every step unsettled the ancient earth but we were in a realm of death and madness in the end i alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity until consciousness failed me you remember our venerable house opulent and imperial it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Hello everybody, it's Zat Knowledge here, and we're playing Darkest Dungeon. I figured I'd take another stab at you, what do you expect? Anyway. Uh, I'm going to be doing an hour-long recording, saying break them down into 20-minute 20 uh, 20 uh, intervals, basically. So, uh, throughout the week, most likely, there will be a new little uh, expansion, of, well, expansion to this campaign. Um, as the game progresses, the more I will play. As you can see, yes, I have D DLC included. But it's just this. I have Crimson Court right here, but I have not beaten the vanilla game yet. So what I'm planning on doing is I will play this game. I will get as far as possible in this game. If I beat it in vanilla, I will be happy. Then I will go and play Crimson Court and then move on and I'm looking at getting the color of madness and there's another DLC content that I'm missing but I do have districts, wagons, and the musketeers plus the butcher's circus and I like the butcher's circus it's a little multiplayer game where you get to play against other players so yeah anyway um, I'm gonna go quiet let you guys watch the tutorial and well, watch the tutorial entry and um, we will um, pick up from there. See you guys in a little bit. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Uh, sorry about that cursor. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I I always play the tutorial. I don't know why, but I always do. Um, I haven't turned that off, so we will get a bit of a yeah. There it is. Um, yeah, move forward. Blah blah blah. Okay. As you can see, we have a crusader, and we have a highwayman. This is a highwayman. Um, each one their own skills, their own abilities, and their own hang-ups. If I wanted to, yep, yeah, see, okay. We have a warrior of light, so as long as the torch is above 75%, which is at currently at 100, I get an extra 10% to damage. But he fears God, so he has to pray to relieve stress, which is this little bar down here. And he's a kleptomaniac, so I will have to keep an eye on him because he will try to steal stuff from me. Which, um, he does. A lot. It gets very annoying. As for him, he's a known cheat. He's not allowed to gamble, so I can't have him gamble and, uh, when I take him to the, uh, when I take him to go get his de-stressed. Uh, we got quick reflexes, which add to his speed, and we have the, oh, hard noggin. So he is harder to stun. That is actually pretty useful. Yeah, same basic skills that come with them. And these little camping skills, which we will get into later. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Yeah. Uh, as he said, hamlet. Um, but, yeah. This is a Eldric Horror. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Yeah. Um. Obliterated. I want to get that taken care of before I talk. <laughs> These nightmarish creatures can be felled. Creatures they can be go. beaten. Anyway, um, as we can say here, uh, the this is an Eldric horror. Uh, uh, Eldric horror. Ugh. Tongue does not want to work today. Um, dungeon crawler game. Uh, I've been actually kind of hooked on it for a while. I have like two different playthroughs, and one's modded and the other one's not. But I wanted to play a clean playthrough to uh, leave nothing unchecked. Decent little gold there is much to be found in forgotten places. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Anyway, uh, I'm going to explain the one quick thing about combat in this, and then I will uh, most likely go quiet while I'm thinking. Um, each one has their own amount of party members. Since we have this big guy here, he takes up two spaces, and we have this little guy who takes up one space, pretty much like these two. I can have a party of just four people, so if there's one guy here that takes up two spaces, that means they can only have two more riflemen if they wanted. But since this is a tutorial, they're only giving it, giving me one whip man to deal with and one of the, uh, the uh, rifleman. So. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Well, it's not very nice. Really? Okay, well, for a tutorial, it's not painful. It's, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but yeah, you see that little white square that picked up? That's stress. So, the more stress I have to deal with, the more risk of, uh, well, them going crazy. 
press this advantage. Um, Give them no oh, quarter. Yeah. I should have mentioned this now. Um, there's going to be blood gore and other horrific things. There, if I decide to play a modded game, there will meet, meet, most likely be a brief nudity because there are some classes out, new classes out there um, that I like. That, that, that basically add a new class, but some of them are like nude. I can't, I can't fix that. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to do them. This game is 100% bona fide clean, no mods, no nothing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get over that because of corpses. Because you're going to see some pretty gnarly looking corpses. As in this picture here that you're showing a pile of bones. Yeah. We got some, like, more horrific over here. Okay? That's why I um, said you will have more of an issue with that one. Wow, you have a thick head. Just to get out to the bleed. And you should. Oh, the bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Yeah, that's not a pretty picture, I'm saying. Foolish <laughs> horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah, so we have the complete quest symbol. If I wanted to, I could say continue adventure, but since this is only a two-room area, I don't have to. But you can see there is a chest there. That chest is booby-trapped. I know from experience. And plus, it literally says it right here. Bandits trapped chest. I do not know how to unopen it, to untrap it, if there is a way, but yeah, I avoid it. But we have... Like, every time the uh, quest is done, it sells whatever items that are in our inventory. Food, gold, little emeralds and jewels. And we get our reward, which is some really decent start. This is, like, actual pretty good start capital. So, oh, it looks like we got a quirk or a uh, negative. For if you remember what I was talking about last time with this guy having a being a bad gambler so not not bad gambler being a known cheat which means he can't play poker so oh and now he can't meditate the unique mind means he's uh welcome home such as it is this squalid hamlet these corrupted lands they are yours now and you are bound to them. Goody. Uh, as you can see, yeah. The unquiet quiet mind. It may not meditate while in town. So this is our hub town. This is Hamlet. Uh, I have called it this. Since I, you know, I'm the player and everything, we had to name it. Uh, the default name is the Darkest, but I went with the Knowledge Estate because it's that knowledge playing here. Um, anyway, as you can see, we have some places we can go to, and there's some places that are boarded up. Um, the boarded up places will open up as we go along. Um, but as we have it, we have a stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. Fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Which, this stagecoach allows me to hire new people. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. And yeah, so it's here we can upgrade it, which, yes, this is like a thing I will do. Basically, with the stagecoach, you can tell you can upgrade how many people, how many uh, guys you can hire, how many people that the guy will bring, so on and so forth. Then we have the trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. This is the Nobad wagon. They will contain uh, heirlooms. These are heirlooms, and well, not heirlooms. Uh, trinkets. That's what they are. Um, 
these trinkets will help my characters along the way but I'm not wasting my money on her because she spends way, she charges way too much for the, yeah, I can reduce the cost, but what cost? Um, then we have the tree. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. And as you can see, we have the statue of our ancestor. The ancestors memories will teach it basically show us what happened along his path that led to his death and then once we get into the darkest dungeon we learn that bit of tidbits and then we have the epilogue and then we have the collected journals which throughout the game we will find bloody pages from journals from past adventurers and we will collect them and do all the, net, the stuff required for them. Um, yeah, the Embark will basically go out and to a dungeon, and for the fallen Most heroes, will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Yeah, this is the graveyard when our characters should die. They will be shown here and how they died and everything. I have lost many of a character. Um, but we have stuff we will unlock. And anyway. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Ooh. That's actually a pretty good thing for me. I like this item. Um, as you can see, each quest has a um, reward. This is our first place we get to get go through, which is the ruins, and we have two new characters, and we have <laughs> we have a Vestal, which is a priestess. Uh, last gasp, plus one speed to HP below 50. So if she's at half health, she'll be a little bit faster. I can't meditate and she doesn't drink okay as for you you are our plague doctor she has oh scouting chance in the weld and scouting chance on the cove even though she has a cove phobia which means if I go there she gets a plus 20 to any stress she gets in that cove I think if I'm understanding the game concept and we have her skills and it says right here that this one prefers to be the third in line or the second in line and this one prefers either being second or last I'm gonna put them as last anyway that's everything I'm gonna go real quick oh what the heck red hook yeah, if you put them like this, usual suspect. But if you put them like this, red hook. Huh. I never messed with that before, so that's new to me. Before I move on, we have these heirlooms down here. These are what I can use to upgrade my stuff. As shown here previously. I will just immediately... Word is traveling. Drop six Ambition down Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. Provisions. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. As you can see, we have the provisions of your journey. Yep. Um, what this does is this is our basically our store where we buy equipment for our dungeon run. Each dungeon we run, we have to take supplies with us. There is a good chance that I will lose everything, and there is a good chance that I will come back with something. So, we will take as we get. Since I do know a little bit of what I'm doing, I'm taking some shovels with me, and since this is a short, we're taking one stack of torches, one stack of food, I'm taking three herbs, 
two of the anti venoms, two of the holy waters, four bandages, because why not? And one key. Then I'm gonna just because I don't know what I'm gonna counter, I'm gonna take at least one of these with me. And onward we go. Making sure, yes. Yeah. There's a good chance I always forget something. Um, oh yeah, first expedition into the ruins of your ancestors. Be curious, be careful. Okay. All right. Hey, a torch. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. see some pretty gruesome uh, deaths and whatnot with, um, or well, corpses throughout the game. So, that's a warning there. Skeletons is a give me. You're gonna see a good amount of skeletons. So, continue the onslaught. Destroy mm -hmm. them all. What's in the box? What's Wealth in the box? beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yeah, and uh, as a side note, it does. It Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. If we should um, leave anything behind, we end up losing it forever. Just as a FYI. Do this. Since we have this one, and I don't like this one, do that. is broken. Maintain the offensive. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I am mean, going to continue until the turn is over, and then I will break, and we will move on from there. So... Surges as the enemy crumbles. And on we go. And our objective is just to explore 90 of 90% 90 of this dungeon. Got it. Oh. A fortune and the key and waiting to be oh, spent. He's stealing heirlooms. Great. He stole an heirloom. Can't get that cut though fixed. Without that, key, without those heirlooms, I am just—it's basically hard for me to do anything. Oh. 
Another one falls. That one's gone. Poison. Eradicated. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. New bandages and some uh, gems. And we scouted. Nice. You have the most stress, so. Do 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 Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Yeah, I can't see traps that I haven't scouted for. Precision and power. This expedition at least promises success. She gets healed. Carry over here. Just because it's my first dungeon and I want to know what and everything. So, oh, it's full of 50%. Walk. There we go. Let's see what's in there. Some holy water, a picture, and some more gold. Useful. In all three, to be honest. The 
light, the promise of safety. Torch is back up to 100%, and we're about done. Unless I decide to take on this last room down here. And usually, if I do, it's usually something really, really good. Oh no. Please. If only treasure oh. could staunch I the flow these. of otherworldly corruption. Hundred gold and eight food. Not much, but it works. I mean, my busker down here. See what I'm dealing with. Torch. Torch. Just get all I have. Full torch when I get up. When I get down there. And I don't have a key. To the pit. I completely forgot I had a shot. A on time it. to perform beyond one's limits. The tide turns. Ow. That was a pretty hard hit. We will have to heal the black dog. There's one that's no. Can you resist the second one there? Okay. Holy light. Smite These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Lucky day, lucky day. We got a key out of that, so Yay. So we got four deeds, six busts. And 16 shields, shield crest, nice. And another that, 20 crust, uh, crest right off of that, nice. You guys sit through all that counting. Yep, 20 shield crests, and we get some uh, decent moolah. Okay, let's see the damage. Okay, he's an unslowly. He got a positive one. Unholy Slayer. He goes up again when he goes up against something that's unholy. He gets some boosts. Um, Night blindness. So. I have to keep the torch lit and high. Uh, Colted hitter, crit fire. Okay, so if he gets clutch hit, yeah, hitter. Um, yeah, so if he's had half health, he'll hit five percent harder. She now will scout in the Warrens, and she's. 10% more successful to uh, diseases. This one just suffers from intense need to do a specific action. So that means I can't control or control that the plague doctor that much. The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. 
The circus has come to town. This is the Butcher's Circus. That means I can go in and play against other players and all that jazz. If I go in now, all my heroes get a minus 10 to their stress. Basically, it means that their stress is relieved by 10. So, yes. Festivity and ferocity. United for the decadent pleasure of a bawdy crowd. When you can go to the circus and fight multiplayer it is, is complete. A traveling bacchanal. A debauched contest of survival. The butcher's circus is all these things. And more. Okay, I'm going to reread that. You can go to the, the circus and, to fight multiplayer battles. It is a complete. It is completely independent from the state. The heroes and trickings in the circuits are separate and will not impact the single player progress. Progress that you, you, progress you make in the circus includes the, your rank, banner design, and any rewards you unlock. It will carry over to the campaign. Other campaigns. Uh, as long as you're logged into your Steam account. So as long as I'm logged in, everything I do in the circus carries on from gameplay to gameplay. So, that's good. But I only wanted to get in there this week. Let's see, enter the ring this week. Okay, so I have to do it at least once. I have to fight in the, the ring. The campaign can wait. For now, carnage calls. So, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna cut here. Do not be hasty in the assemblage of your contestants. Victory and defeat can be decided here. As you can see, these are all the characters I can choose from. The darkened out ones are the ones that I haven't unlocked yet. Or, well, actually, no, wait. Yeah, these are my party members that I had for my last match, but this one I don't have, but everybody else I do have. So, I just need to her DLC and we're good to go um, but that's it from me on this one we will come back and we will do some more fighting basically what we're gonna, I'm gonna do this off screen and then we'll uh, pick up in another let's play so this is that knowledge signing out <laughs>